Hi, and welcome to this series about Proxmox Mail Gateway. Today we're going to install Proxmox Mail Gateway. Installing Proxmox Mail Gateway was quite simple. I loaded the ISO into my virtual box and just let it run. I accepted the user agreement and then I was asked which disk I want to use for the installation. I picked the disk that I want and hit next. Then I had to choose my location, create an admin password, and an email to receive notifications. Next, I had to choose the interface, the FQDN, the fully qualified domain name, which is of course the host name, the IP address for the Proxmox mail gateway server, with of course a Cedar notation, the gateway and the DNS server, and then hit install. Installation took about 20 minutes, but of course I sped this up for the interest of time. Once I was done, it automatically rebooted the machine. And then I received this prompt. In the next video, we're going to log into the server and perform the initial setup and dive deeper into all the features that Proxmox Mail Gateway has to offer. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to also check the bell icon to make sure you get notifications about new videos just as they come out.